Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we want to change our program a little bit. The hardware setup is still the same. Okay, so the hardware setup is still, you know, one button, one light. This is our hardware setup. And what we want to do, we want to press the button, the light shall be turned on, we want to release the button, the light shall stay on, and after a certain amount of time, the light should turn off again. Okay. So this would be this would be our goal. Some sort of a of a triggered stairway light. Okay. So if you're living if you're living in a uh, building with a lot of flats, something like this, you have on your stairway you have a push button, puck, light goes on. You can go to wherever you like to, to your flat or to your car or wherever, or to the washing machine, I don't know. Yeah? And after two minutes, three minutes, the light will automatically turn off. Okay? This would be the goal. I'm going to use a space, our last program we used when, when we did this button. Yeah? So. I will save this under new name, save as, uh, this I will call 7 and I will call it st stairway light, stairway light, back, okay. So we do have again an LED which is defined as output, we have a button pin which we will define as input pull up of course. Uh, of course, uh, because otherwise it's not working, we have realized. Uh, then here I have to select this not yeah, because it's a pull up now, button state. Okay, and this right now does exactly what we have coded quite some time ago press the button, turn on, release the button, turn off. Uh, so what we want to do, we want, if the button is pressed, we want to turn on. Okay, here it's still correct. And then we want a certain time to be waited. Huh? And then we want to turn, turn, to turn off again. <clears throat> then we want a certain time to be waited and then we want to turn it off again. Okay, so we already know a command for waiting, it was called delay. Uh, so we just have to select an amount of milliseconds and I will use again a compile time constant because I have already mentioned I like this compile time constants. Uh, define light time, we'll call it, and I will make this 5000 milliseconds that we can see it's turning off, so 5 seconds. Delay, uh, comment this, wait for the adjusted time, uh, and then we will turn off again. And actually this is all we have to do. Uh, so we are just waiting. I will also make a serial output to show us a little bit what is happening. Yeah. Serial print button was pressed turn on LED wait for and here we write light time and milliseconds and the last thing I'm going 
the output is done. Back. And there I make a print line. Let's see if this is working. Yeah. Let's make an upload. We'll compile. It is uploaded. I'm already eager to know. Press the button. Uh -huh. It's lighting and after five seconds it shall turn off. Oh, turned off. Yeah. What does the serial monitor tell us? Yeah. So open this as well. Yeah. Press the button. Book. This was the wrong button. <laughs> Press the button, wait for 5000 milliseconds, and done. Great. It's working. Okay. If this would be the only task of our program, it would be sufficient. Okay. The big disadvantage of this solution here is this delay. During delay this thing does nothing. It's like a brick and I, you know it would it is capable of doing more than just waiting. Yeah? So we have to find a solution for that that we're pressing the button. It will turn on the LED and will in the meantime when it's waiting that it shall detect the LED shall be turned off, it shall be processing something else. Huh? How this is done will then be in next video. Huh? For now, right now, our task is fulfilled. Like said, big disadvantage, delay, light time. It's not working. Okay? Simply it is only only this is working yeah if we want for instance if we want to press the button it is lit and is waiting and i want to actively to press the button a second time and it shall prolong the light huh? this is not working because i press the button it's waiting for five seconds and every button press in between it's not recognized okay so next time we will see how this how we can solve this for this time, thank you very much for listening, goodbye.